Welcome to Ask Sean, where I explore all sorts of questions about life, relationships, and being human. I'm Sean Slevin, a licensed professional counselor and a licensed marriage and family therapist. And if you have a question you'd like to send me, you can do that anonymously at www.askshawn.org. So obviously, I am not in my office. I'm in my car. Uh, but I had some thoughts that I wanted to share, and I'm kind of experimenting with uh, yeah, doing, doing more videos in other settings, uh, really purely as just a pragmatic um, trying to increase the possibility that I will do videos more often. Uh, and so uh, trying to kind of work with when inspiration comes and when there's time and energy. So, yeah, I had just a few thoughts uh, thinking about uh, this idea of um, how we have to leave time for integration. Uh, we have to make space to internalize and digest learning of any kind. Uh, so this certainly applies to therapy, you know, having a therapy session. And then what, do we, what, what kind of time are we giving outside of a therapy session after a therapy session? need to put my window up I'm getting some road traffic here um, but yeah but it applies it applies really to anything uh, so part of what got me thinking about this is I'm just coming back from uh, one of my horsemanship lessons and I have about a 30 minute drive uh, to and from uh, those lessons and and I was just really struck and I this I often think about this I was thinking about it again today uh, how important that drive is and how I spend that drive. Um, like, it, it's really tempting in our culture to, you know, to put on some music, to put on a podcast, to feel like we somehow have to be productive, like productive, that we have to do something with that time, that that time is wasted uh, on the road. Uh, but I have really come to value that time, um, that time after my, uh, my horse-related lessons, uh, that time after my therapy sessions. I also have about a 30-minute drive to my therapy sessions. Um, and yeah, it just feels really important. It feels really rich. Um, like having that space to kind of let stuff percolate, to let things digest. We kind of know this with food, right? I mean, I, if you've um, if you grew up swimming, you know, or going to like a local swimming pool, you know, there's that whole rule about like you, you know don't go into the pool like you know thirty minutes or maybe an hour. I forget what what the rule is actually now, but there's some kind of rule about you're not supposed to get in the water right away, uh, and that's and, and and that what that comes from uh, the principle there is that. Um, you need to allow your body to have put energy into digestion. And if you then, if you steal that energy to go do something really physical, um, especially something like, uh, swimming, um, you could get cramps. And of course with swimming, you know, you could, you could potentially drown, which uh, obviously is not good. Um, so yeah, it's like it, Anytime we're doing learning, we're taking it's like it's like we're taking in a meal and we need to allow allow some time for that to digest. And so and so here's the thing, you know, if we immediately just like go to the next thing, if we immediately like start checking our email or making phone calls or, you know, listening to podcasts or whatever, that's equivalent to having a meal and then immediately like starting to put in more food to your body, which um that doesn't go well. <laughs> uh, that basically forces the body to f to start to it, the body can't take time to absorb all the nutrients from the meal you just ate because you're like sending more food down, and so it's like, oh well, we don't have time to like fully digest this, so send it on. Uh, and so that's kind of a waste, right? Like that's a waste of food. Um, it's a waste of those nutrients, and and so in the same way, for you know any kind of learning we're doing, ideally we're having some time to digest. Uh, now this is never going to be perfect. Life is busy. We've all got stuff to do and whatnot. But um, but yeah, I just I wanted to I wanted to pop on um, and just kind of offer I guess an encouragement to try to try to allow some time to digest. Um, whether that's after your therapy sessions, if you're if you're seeing a therapist, uh, or um, you know after maybe you, you know you've gone to a lecture or even going to a movie. 
you know, movies can, can, you know, bring things up, you know, can be thought provoking or, um, can hit, you know, universal human themes. That's part of why we love stories, good stories. Um, it doesn't matter whether the movie's heavy or serious or not. You could be watching, you know, uh, the latest Minions movie or something and, but there could be some things touched there and, and, you know, so let yourself spend some little time with that. Let that just kind of percolate, you know, have some conversation with folks about it. Um, like don't just rush from thing to thing to thing, because when we do that, we're, we're progressively not really living life. We're just, we're just kind of flitting about. Um, so yeah, I just, uh, that's something, something to chew on, uh, which I guess maybe kind of, I'm thinking maybe of having a new, uh, section on the YouTube channel, maybe kind of, uh, things to chew on um, bites to chew on, small bites, something, I don't know, we'll see what I call it, but, um, so, but yeah, hope that's helpful to you. Until next time, peace be with you. Mm -hmm.